I'm gonna try to make this quick since I'm waiting for my train to arrive so I can get to my real full-time job. I just saw Big Hero 6 last night. Here we go. I'm in the boat with the other 99% of the population. I had no idea there was a comic book that this was based off of. Uh, I'm going in fresh faced. I didn't see many trailers either. I didn't want to, I'm sick of trailers ruining everything. I was excited though, mainly because it's Disney and they've been on a roll lately with uh, Tangled, Frozen, and Wreck-It Ralph, especially Wreck-It Ralph. So I had high aspirations for this guy. Did it meet them? Not quite, no. Unlike typical Disney films or even animated films in general, I would say this one's outside the norm when it comes to the voice acting. We have Ryan Potter as Hero, we have TJ Miller in this as Fred, we got Damon Wayans, Maya Rudolph. That's, that's kind of the biggest names. I think I'm just suffering from superhero fatigue. In fact, I thought the first half of the film was much stronger than the second, before they even became superheroes, when they were just kids, uh, experimenting in labs, uh... Oh, there's the train. Alright, what can I really say about this? It's kind of a mashup of different films, better films. Uh, How to Train Your Dragon with Hero and his uh, robot companion. They're great together, but they don't quite hit that same high, that note that Hiccup does with his dragon pal. I get a little bit of an Incredibles vibe in it, especially later during the action scenes. It seems very reminiscent of that, but once again, the Incredibles is just incredible, so it's, it's hard to compare. As far as emotions go, it runs the gamut in typical Disney fashion. It has moments that tug at the old heartstrings, it has a lot of funny parts, it has some cool action, although I will say there's no henchmen, so it's just it's just our team against one guy in three different acts, basically. Get a Foot Clan in there, some robots, or something that our team can fight instead of just one guy in a mask. It's Disney, so it looks fantastic. It's right up there with Wreck-It Ralph. But I mean, it surpasses it at some points. I'm actually going to feud Wreck-It Ralph versus Big Hero 6 in probably a week, so stay on the site for that. I'm going to give this a grade now because I don't have a whole lot to say. If, you, if you've seen any Disney's or Pixar films or DreamWorks in the past, you know exactly what to expect. It's by the book. By the comic book as well, I, I guess. I don't know. I didn't read it. I'm going to go with a 7.5. Kids seemed to like it in the theaters I was at, parents seemed to like it, it really is kind of a safe film, which is good, I guess it's, it's a cartoon, it's meant for families. It, I just, I have superhero fatigue. If you're not sick of all that yet, then this is probably a 9, 10 for you guys. Alright, that's it, sorry for the speedy review, but I have a train to catch. I really have a train to catch, it's sort of a...